Hey everyone, welcome to the Cardiac System Anatomy uh, Review. So my name is Justin, I will be talking to you about the cardiac system. Um, it consists of three parts, your heart, blood vessels, and blood. This is a closed system, which means it all contains within itself. There are no openings for any other organs, anything like that. It, the blood circulates within its own system. Um, it maintains homeostasis. And um, this is just some of my information on the bottom. All right. I hope you guys subscribe and enjoy the video. All right. So up next is all about the heart. So. The functions of the heart is managing blood supply, producing blood pressure, one-way blood flow, and transmitting blood. Over here is a diagram of the heart, which has the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. There's also arrows pointing to the pericardium, which is the outer layer, and the apex, which is the bottom of the heart. Your heart is a hollow organ, it's less than one pound, and it is the size of your fist. Um, structures and functions. So the apex of the heart, which is right here, is the pointed tip of the heart that rests on the diaphragm by the fifth intercostal space. So the base, which is not shown is the point from which great vessels emerge beneath the second rib. The pericardium is the double-walled sac encasing your heart. The fibrous pericardium is the loose superficial part of sac, protects the heart and anchors the heart to structures. Uh, the serous pericardium is the innermost layer of the pericardium. All right, so up next we have heart muscle, chambers, and vessels. <clears throat> so the heart muscle consists of three layers. The epicardium, which is the outer visceral layer. The myocardium, which contains thick bundles of ring-shaped cardiac muscle that does the contractions. And the endocardium, the innermost layer that lines the heart chambers. So in my little diagram here, you can see the endocardium, which is pointing to the inner layer, the epicardium, which is pointing to the outer layer, and the myocardium, which is pointing to the middle layer. <clears throat> the chambers of the heart. There are four chambers. They are the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. So. The atria, also called the receiving chambers, they play a small role in the pumping of the blood. Ventricles are the thick walled um, and are called the discharging chambers. These are the actual pumps of the heart. And the septum divides the heart longitudinally, so in the middle. <clears throat> the great vessels of the heart are the vena cava, which the heart receives oxygen poor blood the pulmonary arteries, which carries blood to the lungs, pulmonary veins, which brings oxygen-rich blood from the lungs back to the heart, and the aorta, which brings blood from the heart to all systemic tissues. All right, so next up we have heart valves and circulation vessels. Uh, there are four valves in the heart that allow blood flow in one direction only. Heart valves are as follows. The atrioventricular, or AV, um, valves. They prevent backflow to, to atria located between atrial and ventricular chambers. They are separated further into the right and left um, AV valves. The bicuspid valve, 
is the left AV valve, also known as the mitral valve, which consists of two flaps. Also, you can remember the two flaps by the prefix in front of cuspid, which is by, which means two. The tricuspid valve, or the right AV valve, which has three flaps. So you can also remember that by the prefix in front of cuspid again, which is tri, which means three. We also have the semilunar valve, which guards the base of the two large arteries leaving the ventricles, both the aortic and pulmonic. We also have the cardiac circulation vessels, which is the coronary arteries, which branch from the aorta and encircle the heart. They compress when the ventricles contract and fill when the heart is relaxed. The cardiac vein the cardiac veins, the martyr car cardium drained by these and emptied into the coronary sinus. And this is located on the back of the heart. Um, coronary arteries are usually involved with MIs. There's usually a clot that forms in the coronary arteries, which causes the MI. Next up is arteries and veins, which is a closed transport system. The vascular system consists of three main vessels, that is the arteries, arterioles, and veins. Um, arteries are when the heart beats, blood is propelled into large arteries leaving the heart. Arterioles, from arteries, it moves into successfully, successively smaller arteries called arterioles which feed the capillaries or the capillary bed. Uh, veins, the capillaries then feed into venules which grow to great veins returning blood to the heart. So essentially arteries are carrying oxygen rich blood or just general blood and veins are returning oxygen poor blood. The structure of vessels is vessels, vessel walls have three layers called tunicas. First one is the tunica intima, which lines the lumen of interior vessels and decreases friction. Tunica media, bulky middle smooth muscle layer that can constrict and dilate, therefore creating blood pressure and can make the blood pressure increase or decrease. Uh, tunica externa is the outermost layer built of fibrous connective tissue to support and protect the vein. So you can basically tell where each of these are by looking at the word after. So the first word will always be tunica, but intima, which means close to, media, which is the middle, and externa, which is the outside or external. So last but not least, this is just a bonus system because it's technically part of um, the physiology of the heart, but it is the conduction system of the heart. So the conduction system is pretty much the electrical system that controls the heart. Um, the conduction system is the electrical system of the heart that controls the heart rate. Um, step one of the conduction system is depolarization initiated by the SA node or the sinoatrial node. Uh, step two is that wave passes through the atrial myocardium. Step three, the wave moves to the AV node causing the atria to contract or the atrioventricular node. Um, step four, it passes through the AV bundle rapidly. So again, that's the AV or the atrioventricular. Step five, it reaches the right and left bundle branches and 
then to the Purkinje fibers, resulting in a contraction to eject blood. So essentially that last step is to contract the ventricles to um, eject that blood from the heart. So essentially it goes in a process that first deals with the atria and then goes to the ventricle. All right, that's it. All right, so that was my cardiac anatomy review. If you would like cardiac physiology or talking about how to read the um, EKGs and rhythm strips and the different rhythms of the heart, please let me know in the comments below. If you also enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below or any suggestions on how to improve for the next time because I know this, this uh, version had a little bit of bloopers in there, but I left them. Um, but yeah, thank you. Subscribe, like this video, and hit the bell uh, icon to see more from me. And don't forget to view my three new shorts that I put up today involving self-care and a special cardiac um, mnemonic of the week, which was Mona and Mona Taz. All right. Thanks so much.